I am Dr. Charles Apoki. When I do anything, I take time to review my actions vis-a-vis -vis the results I am getting. Because the Bible says, be imitators of God. When God said, let there be light, excuse me, there was light and God reviewed the light and it was good. And he constantly reviewed until the sixth day and he said it was very good. The time has come for we African Pentecostals to review our Pentecostalism vis-a-vis -vis development and prosperity. Number one, righteousness is a result. Righteousness is different from holiness. Holiness is hating what God hates and loving what God loves. That's why I say, be ye holy, for I am holy. Righteousness is having a right standing with God. One form of righteousness is imputed righteousness. So we have the righteousness of Christ because we are enveloped by Christ. Galatians chapter 3 from verse 36. When the devil sees us, he doesn't see us. He sees Christ. We are enveloped, we are clothed with Christ and his nature because we run into him and we are safe. Number two, there is attitudinal righteousness. This, in the parable of talent, the servant that was given one talent and he buried it and returned the same talent back to the master was a man of integrity. He did not steal from it. He just did not multiply it. He returned it, but he had a wrong attitude of accusing the master and calling him names and not being productive. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So they must have attitudinal righteousness. When they win elections by hook and crook, they are no longer having a right standing with God. And then the people will groan, will mourn. That's what's happening in Nigeria. The next thing is that in the parable of the sower, the, the, the seeds were the same. The soil they fell on were different. And the level of productivity was a percentage of investment and output. So, when Jesus saw the fig tree that was leafy, out of season, he was hungry and in need, but the fig tree was empty and he cursed the fig tree because of lack of productivity. Productivity is meeting generational expectation using the factors of land, labor, entrepreneurship, and their capital. If you are typing 1,000 words per minute in Olympia type, Olymp the Olympia, Olympia, Olympia typewriter, and you can't use a computer in this generation, you are generationally unproductive. In Nigeria, we have a group of still, intellectually still, frozen, decayed, caged, dead woods that have been recycled over the years. And we can't do well. 
we can't do well. We have religious practices that are outdated. They don't fit contemporary times. You talk about tithes, you talk about offerings. Those were practices in the agrarian era. But the principle of giving is not outdated. So you can give more than tithes and give more than offering. But the definition of giving, say give and it shall be given unto you, shall God cause men to give unto your bosom, shaking together, rolling over them. It is not only giving money in the offering, in the offering box or to a church, render services, have something to sell, solve problems, save people time, save people money, save people stress, save people energy, be smart, synchronize with the trend, and then you will get money. And so all the, most of what we do to earn prosperity in the church will not work. Staying awake throughout the night, giving your first salary will not work. <coughs> Excuse me. Your first salary should have been invested, produce more money, produce more money. You can give three times your salary plus others. Now, they will come. I have some young boys on social media who are young pastors. They talk too much. Talk, 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 talk. Abuse each other. Antagonize each other. The secret, the secret of uh, divine prosperity. I was discussing with Ado Eriri that there are mineral resources in most lands. They are underground. They are in secret places. Not every person can harness them. He told me that instead of looking for secret ways, secret ways of creating wealth, why don't we do the open ones in the Bible? 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 to 7. Waiting you get when you they sell. What do you have that you are selling? Build your business before you build your house. Cast your bread upon many waters. Yeah? Simple principles in the Bible. Sales, services, solutions. The open ones are easier to access by every person than the secret ones. The secret ones that you need to sow seed, you need to uh, wake up 12 o'clock in the night to pray instead of to think, no, 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 no. I don't want that one. I prefer the open one. I don't have time. And most of the secret ones, a lot of them are not doing well. The truth of the matter, I've been preaching in several of these churches, they are just managing. They are just managing. A lot of their pastors are disgruntled dissatisfied and underdeveloped. We are just seeing structures, seeing buildings, seeing that a lot of the pastors are poorly paid. A lot of the pastors have not developed their, themselves in recent times. So we need to review this gospel, make it more practical, make it more realistic, make it more societally relevant, and that's why I preach developmental Christianity. When you go to Israel, you will see the effect of their God. You go to Mecca, you will see the influence of their, their belief system. Go to Kuwait. How come all the ones we practice in Nigeria only lead to backwardness? Backwardness. Time has come. We will need to review our belief system. Even God says, come, let us reason together. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Will is your responsibility. Obedience 
your responsibility, eating the good of the land, your desire. A lot is dependent upon you, not my pouring oil on your head or your sowing seed to me. No, a lot depends on you. I was listening, somebody sent me a video. One woman said that um, every wealthy man you see, that there is a spirit behind the wealth. That's a fallacy of hasty generalization. Economic principles are principles. Doesn't need spirit to operate them. Principles of wealth are universally known. Doesn't need any spirit to operate them. Don't try to mystify and spiritualize simple production of wealth. Anyway, for those who are reasonable, I have a webinar coming up on September 13th and 14th by 7 p.m. <laughs> Nigerian time. It's online. Send a message to plus 234-7052-136763 and I will send you the flyer. Simple principles you will learn about sustainable development. God bless you.